Love Story, a Fractured Romance Novella by Thomas Cannon. Sally was still playing sorry with Charlie and Tad when Wes walked into the kitchen. Phyllis was asleep on Sally's lap. Without looking up from the game, she told Wes, this is the last game before they go to bed. Great. How are they getting home, Sally? They are home. We're adopting them. Wes flung his arms out. Who's going to take care of them? Make breakfast for them in the morning. I am. You? Sally, it's 1030 at night. You're playing sorry with a nine-year-old and a seven-year-old. And your markers are four shot glasses of screaming orgasms. It's my birthday, Sally told him. Who is getting up with them in the morning? My 33rd birthday. Who's going to make them breakfast? Fuck off, Wes. Fine, I'll go make the spare bed for Nancy and Judy and find some sleeping bags. You finish your little talk like a sailor lesson to the children. Wes looked at the Phyllis nestled in his wife's arms. What? What are you looking at? He couldn't tell her that even though Tad was sending her drink back to the start with a sorry card, Sally looked like she'd be a wonderful mom. Be a good mom and have the kids go to the bathroom and brush their teeth before you puke.